I've been sent not one, but two brand new rackets from what might be the most iconic line of tennis rackets of all time, the Pro Stuff. The two frames from this line that I've been sent are the 97, which is the classic version, and the brand new Pro Staff X, which is made to give the same classic feel as the Pro Staff, but designed for the modern tennis player. Now, prior to filming this video, I've actually tested both of these rackets rigorously for a week at the Moratogli Tennis Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing them, telling you what I think, and whether I'm gonna be using one of these as my new racket. Let's get into it. If you've been playing with the Pro Staff already, you'll probably know this so you can skip through, but this racket has a really rich history in tennis. It's been around for about 40 years and played with players like Roger Federer, Pete Sampras, Stefan Edberg, Chris Evert, Steffi Graf, amongst plenty others. In fact, I've got a challenge for you. Let me know in the comments below if you know how many Grand Slam titles have been won with a Pro Staff. I'll give you a clue, it's in triple figures. And believe it or not, the Pro Staff is actually a racket that I've never played with and I'll let you know why later on in the video. Anyway, these rackets arrived two days before my trip to Moratoglu and fortunately main man Paul Skip, our stringer at the club, was available to string the rackets up. He strung them both with Luxalon 4G strung at my usual tension of 52 pounds in this desert bronze color, which you might not be able to see here, but you'll see shortly in the video, goes really, really well with the paint job. Talking of the paint job, before I was sent these rackets, I saw a couple of videos and pictures of them online. And to be honest, I wasn't sure about it. And really Reading into the comments, there were lots of pro staff loyalists that really didn't like the color. However, when these things arrived, they looked incredible. I'll show you some footage in a better light, but these rackets are a maroon slash gold color. They change slightly in different light, a little bit like the blade and the new Wilson shift. They really do look way better in real life. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen one of these and what you think. But yeah, this frame is a really classy looking frame. You'll see that I've added a black overgrip, but these rackets come with a tan colored grip, which matches well with the Wilson logo. So let's quickly dive into the specs and talk about how they differ from the previous version 13s before we talk about how the playtesting went. So both of these rackets are 315 grams, both of them are headlight. They have a 16 by 19 string pattern and have this PWS system, which is unique to the Pro Staff series, which is where you can see a bump at three o'clock and nine o'clock on the frame. What this does, it gives you more stability through contact. And it goes to show that this technology isn't a gimmick, it stood the test of time and has been around for decades. The difference between these two rackets is in their name. The Pro Staff 97 has a 97 square inch head and the Pro Staff X has a 100 square inch head. We'll talk about why that makes a difference in a second. So the specs of these two rackets are pretty similar apart from the head size. And there are a couple of small differences between these and the predecessor, the version 13. One is Paradigm bending technology. And what this does is it shifts the flex point down to the shaft of the racket, meaning that you can keep that classic Pro Star feel, but adding a touch of power. And also the butt cap has a slightly more ergonomic shape. So it feels slightly more comfortable in your hand. Now, as I mentioned before testing these frames, I'd never played with a Pro Staff before. And to be honest with you, it's because I thought I wasn't good enough. I'd always heard that Pro Staffs were really tough to play with as they had smaller heads and they were quite heavy. And so I never bothered trying one. However, I always look to other players with pro staffs in Envy. It's a classy looking racket and you've got to be good to play with one. But like lots of people, when I saw that Wilson were releasing a 100 square inch version, I thought that this might be my chance to get involved with the legendary pro staff. So what did I think of the frames? As I mentioned, I actually packed both of these rackets in my bag to go to Moratoglu, but it was actually the 100 square inch version, which I took out of my bag first. I decided to go for this one as I was playing with a very big hitter on a clay court, so I thought I needed as big a sweet spot as possible. And from the very first ball that I struck, the racket felt really easy to play with. I like playing with a headlight racket anyway, but it still had a decent swing weight. The sweet spot felt bigger than I expected and I could still play with decent variety. Before playing with this, I was worried that I was going to have to flatten out my shots, but was pleasantly surprised by the amount of spin and power that I could generate. And to be honest, when I moved over to the 97 square inch head, I was expecting this to be way tougher to play with, but I was surprised with this too. As soon as I picked it up, it felt just as nice as the 100 square inch head. However, I did feel that if I hit it 
it slightly off center it gave me a lot more feedback which to be honest i really enjoyed as it forced me to be a little bit more focused on the ball with the smaller head i did lose a bit of power but i felt that it was easier to maneuver and when i did hit the sweet spot perfectly it gave me the most incredible feeling a feeling that I hadn't felt with any other racket before, which I guess that's why the Pro Staff has such a loyal fan base. So which of these two rackets did I prefer and which do I think you will prefer? Now, to be honest, this is a tricky one. I absolutely love both of them. I think for me, the 100 square inch head would be great for my coaching. It's slightly more forgiving and means that I can be a little bit lazy with my strokes. However, if I was playing competitively, I would definitely go for the 97 square inch head. It was super rewarding when you hit the sweet spot and when you didn't, it gave you a little bit of feedback. So it forced you to focus and watch the ball even better. What I would suggest for you is if you already play with the pro staff or you've tried it before and loved it then i would go for the 97 square inch head however if like me you've never played with a pro staff before and you want to delve into it i think the 100 square inch version is a really good place to start it still gives you that classic pro staff feel but adds a little bit of power and gives you more options with that bigger sweet spot and more spin potential but for me personally although i loved playing with the pro staffs i haven't played with them for long enough to sway me from my current head speed pro which is my current rack of choice and has been for the last 10 years or so but if i get more opportunities to train with the pro staffs who knows so i hope you found my review useful if you've got any more questions let me know in the comments below and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video i look forward to seeing you in the next one take care